Well, you know, the suspect made his first court appearance here at U.S. District Court in Greenbelt earlier this afternoon. The judge ordered him held without bond. We got a hold of the charging documents, and they're shedding a lot of light on what this plan was, what was motivating him, and why he allegedly targeted Justice Kavanaugh. Charging documents reveal it was the presence of U.S. Marshals posted outside of the Chevy Chase, Maryland home of Brett Kavanaugh that may have stopped a man's plan to break in and murder the U.S. Supreme Court Justice. Nicholas Roski, who's 26 and from California, is facing a federal charge attempting to murder Kavanaugh. The documents lay out what happened this way. Roski was dropped off in a cab at Kavanaugh's home about 1 in the morning, but when he saw the Marshals, he walked down the street. He then called 911 himself just before 2 a.m. Here are some of the dispatch communications. The caller is Nicholas Roski. He advised he's having suicidal and homicidal thoughts. Came from California to act on them. He's got a black suitcase that has a gun in it and also a backpack. The caller says he has a firearm with him that is unloaded and locked in a case. When police searched Roski's suitcase and backpack, they found a tactical chest rig, a knife, a Glock 17 pistol with two magazines and ammo, pepper spray, zip ties, duct tape, and various burglary tools. Roski told police he was upset about the leaked U.S. Supreme Court draft opinion that could overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade decision that legalized abortion. The leak prompted demonstrations at justices' homes, including Kavanaugh's, after the addresses of conservative justices were posted on the internet. Internet. Roski told investigators he found Kavanaugh's address in Montgomery County on the Internet. The documents also say Roski was upset about the elementary school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, saying he believed Kavanaugh would vote to loosen gun laws. He told FBI agents he bought the gun and other items to break into Kavanaugh's home, kill him, and then himself. There is now stepped-up security presence at Kavanaugh's home on a typically quiet tree-lined street. We spoke to a neighbor who did not want to be identified. It's, it's a tragedy on many levels, and it's not the way to solve anything. Narosky told the FBI that he was looking to do something to bring purpose to his life. Back to you.